All right, um, I've, this uh, video here is a follow-up to the uh, second video, which was um, creating the door and setting it up for Playmaker, so it'll open and close. Um, first thing I do, um, I need to add, um, I've got Ultimate FPS uh, loaded um, into my project. Um, also, I did not use this add-on, the Playmaker add-on, which is for Ultimate FPS Camera. It does have a lot of uh, useful stuff, but I, I'm not, I, I don't need to do any of these things. So, uh, my setup is exactly the same, except for I turned my first, uh, I dragged in the advanced player from UFPS, which is under the UFPS base content prefabs players. I just grabbed the advanced one. Um, so the advanced one's here. I turned off the first person controller that I was using from the uh, sample assets. Uh, so when I hit play, so I haven't done anything else to my playmaker yet. So when you hit play and you walk over here, uh, notice that I don't have any weapons or anything. I can click it and open it and close it and it works just fine. But when you have a weapon, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the mace since uh, it's not so loud. Um, I'm going to click it one time. Notice it keeps going. Um, also, um, so if you if you were using a weapon, it would keep shooting bullets. Um, so we need to make some changes for this. So the first thing I do is I go I find in my hierarchy this playmaker GUI, and I turn control mouse cursor off. Um, since we did that, if I go over here again, these doors aren't going to work. Actually, they do work. But uh, what you have to do is you have to actually, so if I have a weapon, if I want to open it, i got to shoot it. Um, I don't want to have the player have to waste bullets just to open a door. It seems kind of silly. So um, I've got the same door that we had in the last video. Go to my Playmaker Editor. So the one thing that I change over here is pretty much instead of doing mouse down, I just change it to mouse over, open. Um, and this is where the distance uh, really comes into play uh, because if you're far away, it's the doors are going to start opening. So I'm just going to change this to five. Um, I don't I don't need to change anything here. Over here, do the same thing. It's on uh, mouse over. So basically, when your crosshairs are over it's gonna fire this event and then you get door closed um, so everything still works the same I've got my open door animator turns it on turns it off I'm waiting and then since the doors open I'm gonna wait again I made them yellow and red and green just so it's a little easier I just did the set color it's a little easier to um, see what's going on you can follow the arrows better uh, so everything else is the same so now if I hit play okay the doors that are furthest away I haven't changed anything on them so they're still going to be um, oh, that's probably too loud so you notice if I walk up to it it opens uh, so it's just the ray distance so if I'm further away you know it's waiting for me to be close enough so there I'm five and that way you know that's a pretty decent distance for someone walking up to a door and then they can close the door um, this one you've got to click it because I haven't changed it back. And this is the one where it was, uh, yeah, I don't like that. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's, um, 
that's how you have to do Playmaker with uh, UFPS, and you notice we had some slight changes. Uh, hope that helped. Thanks.